Hey, I'm just making a little video here to help you guys out with saving your video files from a Swan DVR. Uh, this is a four channel Swan DVR. So we have just the four feeds coming in on this DVR. You see, I already have my USB drive plugged in there right underneath the HDD light. Um, the hard drive is obviously going on the, the machine, that's why that's flashing. But the USB drive is formatted FAT32, so make sure that's formatted FAT32. This is a 4 gig drive, so it's a little limited for how much video it's going to be able to hold. So, and we'll, we'll I'll show you that later. So, uh, first thing you're going to do on this is right click it, go down to the menu. Click on that, you have to put in your password here usually, but I already had it put in, so you don't have to do that here. And from here, you will go to search. Now on all the other videos I watched, none of them, none of them were applicable to this, to this model. This is a uh, 4575 Swan DVR. So all the other models, you go in, you format your USB drive, you do uh, a bunch of stuff in the device menu or system menu was was a couple of them but but none of them work on this if you no no matter what you do that usb drive is never going to show up under devices so if you go under device it's only going to show your hard drive that, that's all it'll ever show on there it will it'll never show your usb drive you go into to, to search though this is where we're going to find the usb drive eventually we'll just pick one day we'll pick uh Wednesday the 25th select that turn it blue we'll pick one camera so move this down to one camera 25th is blue camera one is blue that's gonna be my front yard uh, front driveway and then go ahead you can you can skim down the time if you know the exact time frame you're gonna be looking for that'll make your your time bar a little smaller um, but we'll just click play it'll be the entire entire day here so now we're looking at midnight of the camera and we'll move that up to get some sunshine out now we got eight o'clock in the morning 8:05 a.m so if i wanted to grab some video here five minutes hour two hours for the police for for saving it for uploading it to youtube for whatever you wanted to do with that video um you can come in here you see that little scissors right there that's that's how you you catch your video on these models so click on that scissor you're gonna see a little red line pop in here that red line pop in right there that's the start of your video and when you click it again at the other side here actually this spread it out a little more see those two arrows now you got two arrows in between the time in between those two lines is what is going to be captured to our USB drive. Now the next thing you'll notice is up here that scissor has turned into a disk, a save symbol. So click on that. Now you get to select your backup type. Here you can do H.264 AVI MP4. The H.264 format wasn't working for me. Uh, I have a lot of H.264 uh, files, video files, uh, that I'm able to work with just fine, but the H.264 off of this wasn't working right, so um, use that at your own risk, I guess. Uh, but the MP4 was working just fine for me. The other thing you'll notice is the size. This is uh, 30, uh, 37 seconds of, of film, basically, and it's 1.6 gigs. It's probably going to be different depending on the resolution you're using when you save. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind for the size of USB drive you're going to need and you know maybe changing your resolution size if you if you want to capture a lot of video so uh, the, the lower the resolution the smaller size for the duration of time you're gonna you're gonna save when you have all that picked there go ahead and click save now what you're looking at here is the USB drive the USB drive that we do not see under devices 
has now just magically appeared. I already have a file folder on that USB drive called Swan Backup. If you don't have any folders, it's just an empty empty drive, you're only gonna see that system volume information folder, and that's a hidden folder, so don't save in there. Just save at the root, which is gonna be USB 1-1. But if you have a folder in there, just go ahead and click on that folder. Now, USB 1-1, you can see the root drive um, also has Swan backup in there. So if you click on here, your keyboard doesn't show up. So you can't type um, into this this section here. So you just have to make, you can't create folders is basically what I'm getting at. Uh, you make sure that your folder is already created on there before you put your USB drive in there if you want to have a folder. Then just click OK right down there in the corner. Click that. Uh, well, I have a space shortage, so hang on one second here. All right, so I went, I actually took that, that USB drive. I, I forgot to delete the files off there that were on there already. So I took that off there, put them in my other computer and deleted all those files. Now we should be able to just click this Swan back up, same place we were, and then click OK. And there, now she is backing up. You see it says one of two. There's two different files it's going to save. If you have your your system set up for for you know alerting motion that sort of thing, it's going to actually create multiple video files, one for every alert uh, or change. Uh, basically, when you look at your timeline, when you have different ticks on that timeline for for motion and, and different alerts, all that's going to create different video files, but they'll all be in line with each other. So. This, uh, I'm guessing it was one big file and one small file because there wasn't a lot of video time that I captured. So we'll go through this. I'll let this finish. And as soon as it's done, I will be right back. There we are. Now it's done. So you see down there, it's back up successful. Saved all those video files. Uh, two of them <laughs> for this one. There's only two. Uh, saved onto that USB drive. So. We're gonna then go ahead and click. If you click OK, it's gonna try to save them again. So don't click OK. Click close. I'll close out, and we're back to our video screen. So when you take this out, just go ahead and yank this out of there, and then we'll stick it in our any computer, laptop, whatever you're gonna put it in, um, and then switch this feed over to my other machine. And now this has popped up. We got our open a view of files. This is the USB drive. This is on a normal computer. This is not on the Swan. This is a different computer down here. Uh, it's actually my, my media server. So open the view of files. Now inside here we got the Swan backup. And we got two different MP4 files. And here you go. They are playing just as they would on your DVR and you can see this particular one here is one minute uh, actually I didn't see a total eight minutes 24 seconds um, and let's see what the second one is second one is a total of three minutes 25 seconds I don't know what the action trigger in there was to cause that separation um, but something in there, a bird flew by, sprinkler came on. Something happened to, to make it uh, do an alert in there, and that's why we have a split video feed on there. Sometimes, I, I've, I've done a couple of them now that had five, six different video files, all, but they're all in order. So you, you watch them in order, or you can turn your alerts off, and then all those ticks go away, um, and you won't have th those issues. So that should be all you need to get that up and running. So, good luck.